Welcome back to Coxie Tutorials and Gameplay. This is part 26 in our first person shooter tutorial series. And uh, where we left off in part 25, we had just finished setting up the sniper rifle and uh, we made it so that can actually kill the enemies and we can look down the scope and zoom in. So what we're going to do today is we're going to go ahead and make the different types of ammunition boxes so that we can have this gun or whichever gun we want in our hand and then if we walk up to the right ammunition box for that gun it will give us the required amount of ammunition or the amount of ammunition that we set for the box to actually give the player. We did actually have an ammo box for the minigun. I've just gone ahead and deleted that. I don't want that anymore because we're going to make this script attached to the player and it's going to control all the ammunition types just from that one script. Okay, so we'll go ahead now and get started. So what we'll do is we'll actually make the um, ammunition boxes first. So 3D object, I'm just gonna make them boring old uh, one by one cubes. You can of course make yours however you want. Okay, so I'll start off and use this as a template. So with this cube, it uh, has the box collider which we want to tag. We don't want to tag it, we just want to make it as a trigger. And we also probably want to make the collider a little bit larger, so 1.5 1.5 on all axis and you can see that it's made that quite a fair bit bigger and then we'll also add another box collider just so the player can't walk through the ammunition boxes like I showed you with the sniper rifle um, once you make the collider a trigger it doesn't really act as a collider anymore it acts as a trigger so we've got this template we might duplicate this So I've duplicated that twice. I'll just space these out a little bit. Okay, and we'll rename these. We'll start off with the uh, minigun. So minigun ammo box. You can also rename it in the hierarchy if you highlight it and then press F2. So shotgun ammo box and then this one will be the sniper sniper rifle ammo box okay so that'll be fine what I might also do is um add a texture to each one just so they look different from each other. Uh, I've got these three very basic textures here. I'm going to use the metal for the minigun, green <clears throat> for the shotgun and the wood for the sniper rifle. going to change that so the yeah because that's actually a sniper rifle in the middle there shotgun minigun okay so now that we have these boxes set up we can go ahead and tag each one I've already made the tags myself I've got minigun shotgun ammo and sniper ammo so make three more tags and spell them exactly like that make sure you put the capitals where the capitals are and if you want to learn how to make tags if you haven't done it before just go into here and press the plus button and then you can make a new tag so I'll go ahead and tag this minigun I'll tag the shotgun as shotgun and the sniper rifle as sniper so that's done, we can go into our scripts, 
I'm going to put this in the player scripts and create a new JavaScript. Player ammo pickup. Okay, so start off, I'll get rid of that. And we're going to make um, three game object variables. So we're going to do one for each ammunition box. So var minigun ammo box. It's game object and then shotgun and then the sniper rifle um, we're also going to access the weapon pickup script again so that we can just use these uh, booleans for the minigun equipped, shotgun equipped and sniper equipped this will allow our script to know whether the player actually has that gun in his hand when he hits the collider of the ammunition box to make sure he has the right gun for that ammo. So we're going to need a variable for that. Weapon pickup script, and that is weapon pickup. Then we'll just need our start function. Okay, so we need to <coughs> get the uh, component on the FPS controller because that's what this script is going to be attached to and that component is going to be the weapon pickup script. So as soon as we start the game, we'll get hold of this script and to do that we just say weapon pickup script equals get component weapon pickup and I don't think I've explained this very well in the past when we've, when we've accessed other scripts but um, I'll quickly show you now so we're going to put this script on the FPS controller so drag your script onto there and then you'll see all the slots that we've made we've got the slots for each of the ammunition boxes so we may as well drag them in while we're here minigun shotgun and sniper rifle and you can see that currently the weapon pickup script it has none there's nothing in that slot as yet but if we start the game you'll now see that it's accessed the first person controller because the script is attached to this and then it's accessed the weapon pickup script so that's good it's working fine and that's why I leave it as a slot that you can actually see in the inspector rather than making it a private one straight up because I want to make sure that it's actually accessing that script um, now we can go ahead and make our on trigger enter. So function on trigger enter the collider. You can call that whatever you want. I just usually call it the Collider in JavaScript and other in C Sharp. And this is of type Collider, of course. And we're going to say <coughs> um, if oops, if Collider dot tag is equal to I think it's 
minigun ammo. I'm just going to double check and make sure we spell it right. So minigun ammo. And weapon pickup. Oops, weapon pickup. Script dot minigun equipped. It's also equal to true. Then we want to add the ammunition uh, to the player's um, total ammunition for the minigun. So that was just called ammo for the minigun. So we'll access the static variable script. Dot ammo. We'll do plus equals this time. So plus equals 500. So even if the player has 500 ammunition, it'll still give him another 500 so we have a thousand if he walks into this ammo crate so after we've given him or her the ammunition we then want this uh, ammunition box to disappear so we'll say minigun ammo box dot set active false so it will disappear and then I also want these um, ammunition boxes to respawn after a certain amount of time so that the player can never completely run out of ammunition so it's very easy to do this in JavaScript we've done it before so you just go yield wait for seconds and then how many seconds we'll just do five to test it out and then we'll make it a lot longer duration before it respawns once we know it works so just uh, set that back to true so it reappears after it's waited the five seconds and now we just need to copy this and paste it twice more so that we can set up the other two types of ammunition as well. So for this one we need to change this to the shotgun ammo which is the tag on the shotgun and we want shotgun equipped instead of minigun equipped. You've got to be really careful when you're copying and pasting. I make mistakes all the time when I copy and paste because I forget to change something so just make sure when you are copying and pasting that you make sure that you have changed everything appropriately. Uh, shotgun ammo, I think that's what it's called, yes. And we'll need the shotgun ammo box. ammo box and we'll also need to change the ammo type which we have but we'll need to change how many that he picks up we don't want 500 for the shotgun so maybe six because that's how many shots the shotgun has so I'll just make sure that's right yes that looks right shotgun ammo box okay so we'll move on to this one I wrote a stupid tag name for this, I remember, so it was Sniper and then capital R Rifle. Should have called it Sniper Ammo, but I'll just double check that. It is Sniper Ammo, okay. I've made a mistake up here, as you can see. I do that a lot, just one L, so make sure your collider is spelt correctly. That's why it sucks using Java, JavaScript now in our uh, mono develop because 
there's no auto completion and you can't really tell sometimes if you've actually uh, made a mistake until you've run the program um, okay so sniper rifle ammo and then we wanted the sniper rifle equipped so sniper equipped and sniper rifle ammo which we will just make four and then a sniper ammo box I think that should be okay so yeah that looks fine we'll just go test it out we'll soon find out Okay, that all looks fine. What we will do is um, go into our prefabs folder and we'll drag each one of these ammunition boxes into our prefabs folder so that we can put them wherever we want around the level. So you can just pull them out now, they're already set up. And we'll go and test out all these ammunition boxes. So I'll pick up the shotgun. I can't get any off the minigun I better just kill this guy I know he's gonna sneak up and uh, try to kill me so I'll try the sniper rifle and we can't do anything if we go to the shotgun then we get the ammo and it should reappear after five seconds yes and then we can just keep picking it up like that uh, try the minigun so we can't use the sniper rifle ammo, we can't use the shotgun ammo, we can use the minigun ammo, so that gave us our 500, and we can just keep picking that up, try the sniper rifle, okay, can't get the shotgun ammo, can't get the minigun ammo, and we can't get the sniper rifle ammo, so I've made a mistake there, so that's why I checked all of them. I know it's very monotonous and boring, but you need to make sure that they're right. And I have got the wrong tag, I believe. Sniper ammo. Okay. So we'll just go try the sniper rifle now. We know the other ones work fine sniper rifle and now we can go through and pick it up <coughs> die okay so that is working fine and that will be the completion of this tutorial so I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one thanks for watching cheers